people will see this, and it, it's a nice farm sitting on our 200 acres here, and they go, wow, that guy must have money. But in 1969, Regina and I didn't have a penny. We started from zero. And I said, well, do you think we can make it farming? And she said, we'll give it a try. And by July 4th, 76 was the first day we shipped any milk. And here we are today. Darien makes you humble and really, really quick. You can't be have your head full of a uh, bunch of junk because you will never make it as a dairyman. But when you go up and down the main highways and see this big, beautiful farm, you think, wow, wow, you know. They aren't here when I was out pulling a calf at two or three in the morning or when Pete does too. It could be five below and he's up at two or three delivering a calf goes back to bed for an hour and he's back out here at five doing morning chores. They don't see that. Yeah. And, and that's fine. If we didn't like it, we wouldn't be in it. One of the things that I think is just so unique about our farm is the fact that we have the pasture and that the cows can get out. Uh, it helps with their health and their feet and legs and cows weren't made to be standing on concrete 24 hours a day. It's deteriorates their body faster. So when if they get out on dirt, this pasture just keeps the cows healthier. And as farmers too, just being owners of this, coming out here, especially in the fall, it's just really beautiful to look down in the valley and see all of it. It's one of my favorite views. We strive to pay attention to the cows uh, in the parlor. If you're walking a lot, you could get a sixth sense on you know who's healthy, who's not. But it's a constant battle. It is a constant battle to produce quality milk. It just doesn't, doesn't happen overnight, doesn't come easy. It's a, you gotta work for it. The young women at Milk Forest do an exceptional job. A cow can be coming into the parlor and they just have a, a sense that something's wrong with that cow. She just doesn't get milked and sent on through. And she'll make a note, Pete will examine the cow and the cow might have a fever for whatever reason. And that helps with quality milk. Because if we would miss that cow, she'd go another 12 hours before she'd come back through and she might really be sick then, and her milk quality start to deteriorate. But the farm isn't all work. It's, yeah. A lot of it's just enjoying it, period. Yeah. As my wife says, it's my job, but it's also my passion and my hobby. And even though I'm always here, I'm, it's not always, it doesn't seem like it's work to me. Regina and I were contemplating Maybe getting rid of the dairy animals. Maybe going to beef, do just grain and hay. We were throwing that around, and he got wind that we were thinking about it, and he got ballistic. Yeah, there ain't no way that's happening. Don't know why I'm passionate. It just well, maybe because I was born and raised on the farm. I've always been as a little kid. I always enjoyed it. I could see he was just passionate for it. He, you know, he never gave me an excuse. It's, I guess it's just something that's in your blood. And, always be doing it. I just feel fortunate that Pete has the passion and his family does, his wife and his boys. I feel very comfortable that uh, the place will be taken care of.